Welcome to the Be Amazing At channel. In this free science lesson, we'll look at some really simple techniques to help you revise and memorize the key ideas behind elements, compounds, and mixtures. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to describe, explain, and apply the ideas of elements, compounds, mixtures, and molecules. In this chemistry video, we'll look at different ways to help you revise and memorize the key ideas. A glossary is a great way to help you organize your work so you can find the keywords and learn them quickly. It's basically just a list of definitions. And then ideally, to help you memorize the ideas, you should turn the glossary into some revision cards so you can keep testing yourself. This first example for elements is done for you. You can do this on A4 paper or even in the back of your book. If you have space, why not try adding in some relevant diagrams or pictures to help you remember it. Pause the video and try doing your own definition for a molecule. You could use your notes, a revision website or the previous video tutorial. A molecule is made up of atoms that are joined together by chemical bonds. Molecules can be elements which contain the same atoms, or they can be compounds, which contain different atoms. Now try pausing the video and writing your own definitions for a compound, mixture, and impure. A compound is made of different atoms that are joined together by chemical bonds. A mixture is made of different substances that are not all joined together. They can be separated, by filtration, distillation, or chromatography. Mixtures can be made of elements, or compounds, or a mixture of both. Something which is impure contains more than one type of substance, and all mixtures are impure. And the final three keywords are pure, symbols, and atoms. Pause the video and try and write your own definitions. Something which is pure contains only one type of substance or thing. You can have pure elements and pure compounds. Each element has its own unique symbol. Some have more than one letter, but every element has a capital letter. For example, sodium, sulfur, and chlorine. Each element has a different type of atom made of protons, electrons, and neutrons. You can learn more about atomic structure in the video linked in the description below. An easy way to memorize key terms is to make revision or flashcards. You can make your own by cutting a piece of A4 paper or card into four pieces. Try putting a question or a keyword on one side and the answer on the other side. Using diagrams or images also really works well. The advice from researchers is to keep them simple, numerous, and overlap the content. This will help you link and get the ideas into your long-term memory. At first, you should get someone to test you or test yourself fairly frequently, and then try bigger gaps of time between when you review the ideas. Before we finish, have a think about how confident you are at describing, explaining, and applying the concepts of elements, compounds, mixtures, and molecules. If your notes are complete, you understand it, Give yourself a happy face. And why not try some exam style questions on this topic, either in the workbooks at beamazingat.com or in the next video. The link's in the description below. If you struggle to remember or explain some of the key ideas, or you need to finish your notes, why not rewatch the clip? If you're not confident, don't worry, but make sure you do something about it. Stick at it you'll get there in the end. I hope you found the video useful and feel happier or more confident. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when the next videos come out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be safe, be kind, be amazing.